Charles and I are joined by John Saar. You're the CTO at T-Mobile. We have been experiencing the Las Vegas Grand Prix, accessing the venue very smoothly, buying our drinks, and also covering some footage and share it immediately with, uh, with our fans. Can you share what you really like and what you, you enjoyed most um, and proud of with your, your team? You know, Ronald, every time a fan buys a drink or merchandise or gets some food or when they first get into the venue through the uh, ticket scanners, um, all this is wireless uh, for the first time in a major sports event. And they're all powered by a 5G. And to make sure that they work properly, uh, it, they are powered by a 5G slice, uh, which means that they have their own quality of service, even though we have like 100,000 fans a night. It's been a seamless experience over the last few days. I particularly have been really enjoying the instant replays that I've been seeing on the app and throughout the venue. So could you talk a little bit more about the fan experiences being elevated this year? Perfect. Um, you know, the first thing we want to make sure the fans really have is a good smartphone experience because a smartphone is the lifeline. And so we have put in a lot of coverage, a permanent in, uh, infrastructure that we have invested in, and also some cellular on wheels, uh, temporary uh, coverage for them, as well as indoor coverage. And for you know fans who are not team over customers yet, uh, we provided free Wi-Fi as well. So they get a really good smartphone experience. In addition, when they are actually um, in, in the circuit and around this area, we provide some entertainment, like you said, with uh, instant replays. Uh, we have uh, camera crews uh, in a roving backpack that has no fiber optic cables following them, using 5G for live interviews, uh, for uh, campus shows and concerts. Uh, we also have broadcast cameras high up on the Bellagio, the Mandalay Bay and Paris where it's very hard to run cables up, but they were all done using a 5G network slice over the 5G network. And the last phase of Grand Prix is one of the most challenging environments. You were mentioning already the cameras at the hotels, um, the drones that we have, everything is powered by 5G. What can businesses learn from this? Because if you can run this for 100,000 people at an event, businesses would not be happy. Absolutely, Ronald. We are more than ready to support businesses with, with needs like this, especially with 5G slicing. Uh, we do offer that as a product now for even first responders. Same thing, you know, a lot of people in an area uh, could have congestion, but with a 5G slicing, it takes that, that uh, concern away. And, and so, yeah, for businesses watching us, we'd love for you to come down and see. And this is the best testing ground, a true, true no safety net test that we're doing of our technologies to showcase it, to engage our fans as well. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. So exciting and congratulations to you and the team for making this all happen. We've had a really great time experiencing testing it out with the practice rounds as well as with the qualifiers last night. So tonight is the big show, so we can't wait to it get is, out there and experience it. Is. It is, I'm so excited and kudos to, to the technology team for pulling all this together. Amazing job for them. Your tech team did a great job get ready and uh, we're ready now to yes. go racing yes let's go racing let's go yeah. racing yeah <laughs>